Hey, how's it going? I'm going to try and make this tutorial quick. If you have any more questions or run into any issues, please take a look at the full tutorial right up in the description below. For anyone who's interested, I'm on an M1 Max MacBook Pro running OS X Monterey. You should be able to replicate this with any Mac 1013 or newer. And this is the basic setup. So we're going to go from VDMX into Siphon Virtual Webcam into Snap Camera, then back to VDMX via the window capture feature. All right, let's get started. For anyone who's never installed VDMX on their computer, just make sure that if you have Mac OS 10.15 or newer that you run the latest version of VDMX. And if you're running Mac OS 10.13 or 10.14, you're going to want to run this version, B8724. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is open up Siphon Virtual Webcam, VDMX, and Snap Camera. When you set up Snap Camera, if Siphon Virtual Webcam is installed, you want to make sure that you choose this OBS Virtual Camera. It might default to your FaceTime camera, but we're going to use this for the tutorial. If Siphon Virtual Web Camera is configured properly, you should see this window in your Snapchat. If you've never installed and used VDMX before, when it loads up, it might load up with a window that looks like this. For now, we're just gonna go up to Templates and Siphon Player, and that'll get us a video out that is going into Siphon Virtual Web Camera and that is going directly into the snap camera. I have these two videos that I'm gonna load in. How do you know, Neil? From high school, maybe? I don't know. But he always <laughs> the computers. Uh, and, and we met in suspension, actually. There was a computer class project. So I'm just gonna pause it there, and I'm gonna go over and find a Snapchat filter that I like. So you can see that in snap camera, we have the video. We had to make a website. Let's run it back, see if it picks yeah. up the other From high school, maybe? Oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> what the heck? How do you know, Neil? From high school, maybe? I don't know. But he always f the computers. You can see that it's the video right now is coming from VDMX, going into the Siphon Virtual Web Camera, into Snap Camera. Now we're going to get it back into VDMX by opening up this Workspace Inspector. Um, if you can't find it or you somehow closed it, you can go up here to the window and go to Workspace Manager or hit Command-1 on your keyboard. Go to Video In and we're gonna choose a window from Other Application and then we're gonna enable it. And then we're gonna go to Snap Camera, choose this and enable it. So after you've enabled the video input, and you've chosen Snap Camera, most likely your video will look something like this, which means that VDMX is actually pulling from this window here. A good way to figure out a uh, window capture size is if you hit Command Shift 4 on a mouse and you drag, it should give you the dimensions of whatever window. So right now this is 619 by 354. If you're pulling from YouTube or another application, you can use this to figure out your resolution. I have it in here now as 620 by 351. And for the crop, 165, 43, 165, 70. So if you type in those numbers, 165, 43, 165, 570, now it's pulling from this part of your snap camera window. Next step, we have a video going from VDMX into the Siphon Virtual Web Camera, into the snap camera, and now we have window capture enabled. So what we're gonna want to do is click on layers this is essentially our main video out. We're going to create a new layer. We'll just call this video in. Whenever you create a new layer, it's going to create a video source, FX, and composition. You can pop those out by clicking this button. From the use source section, we're going to choose window inputs. Snap, snap camera. This is our main output, and we have both layers with their opacity all the way. So if I take the video out and I turn down the opacity, 
Now you can see we have this single video loop through. So if I hit play on the video out. Uh, and, and we met in suspension actually. There was a computer class project where you had to make a website. From here, if we want to record it, we're going to go back to plugin. And we're going to click on movie recorder. And then if I was to run this video back and hit play, I can How also do you know hit record. You? High school maybe? I don't know. But he all up with the computers. Uh, and, and we met in suspension actually. And stop it. There was a computer. And VDMX will put that recording that's in your movie folder back in the project. So from here, I can actually add more filters over top. You have to play around with the lenses that you use. Some of them work better than others for this effect. And, and some of them can yield very impressive results. As a last tip, if you want, you can also go into VDMX that has this extensive library of effects and you can drag effects onto your layer and hit record again. So have fun playing with these filters and effects within VDMX. And if you wanna switch between the different lenses of Snapchat, you can set up hotkeys within that application. And I'll tell you this, that shit ain't really start going south till they start shooting that documentary. Well, it must have been very difficult being an only child with a single mother. Hmm. Uh, actually, my parents are still together. But you must have a lot of cousins. What was your role in this? Me? I'm just a manager. That means you oversee all this. Yeah, I oversee everything. Except for the porn. I hope you found this tutorial fun and useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try and get back to you. If there is enough interest, maybe I'll make a Windows version of this. Uh, more than anything, I hope you get a laugh out of this. Or if you're curious about this comedy show, Never Enough the Struggles of Sights, I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great life.